Hi and welcome to another episode and what I've got here is, is me playing around with my Atari STE. I'm pumping this signal out, out the back for the low, medium and high res using a UBE switch which I'm pumping into an OSSC, hence the remote control. Um, I did play around with a RetroTINK and the OSSC in the last episode, which you can click there. If you haven't already seen that one, click that one. Basically, it doesn't work through the RetroTINK because I've been told the RetroTINK doesn't like the 71 hertz, but the OSSC does like the 71 hertz, but it was giving me a strange picture, at least in the last episode. Well, to help combat that, Bucko sent me a couple of links in the comments for the last episode and that links to a part on his forum from someone called Marlin Followwell. I believe that's how you say it, sorry if it's not. But they were nice enough to leave some fancy settings for the OSSC. So you do actually get a picture out that's worth looking at, which is great. But then let's talk about what I've learnt since. So let's move across to what picture I actually get out of the uh, ST now. And as you can see, I do get the menu bar now and I get to see the rest of the screen. But there's this grey background, which is all a bit checkered. It looks worse through the OSSC. So I'm actually going to click back and change it so that you get to see sort of just the icons. That's all what we're interested in at the moment, but that'll be the same for the you know, if you see everything, but if I zoom in on the icons, you'll see more what I'm going on about. So just one moment. Okay, so we're super zoomed in. Before I go any further, I'm going to mention that I'm going to put a link in the description uh, down below. As I say, thank you to Bucko for giving me the link to this, but a lot of thanks go to Marlin Followwell as well for figuring out the fancy settings that I needed in the OSSC which I'm not going to show you how to do in the OSSC. It's basically you find those settings and you change them to the settings that uh, Marlin has put. But this is what we've got at the moment. We've got the UBE switch, VGA off to the, the OSSC um, through VGA. And this is the kind of image that you can get. It's nice, stable. It does what you want to do. I mean, the mouse isn't doing anything strange either. Now this is where I'm going to take it one more step than uh, what Marlin has done. I'm going to show you now what it looks like through from VGA to VGA to SCART <laughs> to the OSSC through SCART. And then let's have a look of what that looks like. Again, like I said in the last episode, if there happens to be any little yellowish tint, that's because I need to take the OSSC to bits and do some solder flow. But let's move across to that now. Okay, so after a bit of messing around, we've got everything back the way it was. We've got UBE switch going into the VGA2 SCART, which is going into the OSSC via SCART. Um, we end up with the same picture, don't we, really? There's not much difference. Probably going, well, this was a waste of time. Haha, <laughs> wait. We also need to go to menu, video LPF, currently set to auto. Let's scroll through. That's off. 95 megahertz HDTV 2, 35 megahertz HDTV 1, 16 megahertz EDTV. And that's not so bad in itself, that one, is it? But I've been told it should look like that. A little bit blurry in the background, is it that? Actually, no, I think. Which one is it? This is the bit that I need someone with photos and stuff, and I've been shown in photos. It should look like that. 9 megahertz SDTV. I mean, if you don't like that, you can maybe stick it. 16 megahertz EDTV. You tell me which one that you'd prefer down in the comments down below. I, I really do want to know which one is the correct one. Obviously, people have sent me photos over on Twitter, which is great. Thank you very much. But I'm sticking with 9 megahertz, which is nice and grey in the background. So we back out of there and you mess around and you save it as a profile because you don't want to lose all these fancy settings. So you've had the settings which you've seen from Marlin and you've got this setting from me if you use the SCART, uh, sorry, the VGA2 SCART and go through the SSC that way. I'm going to put all the settings in the 
uh, description. I'm also going to give a link to Marlin's uh, forum post and I'm going to go along to that same forum and add this little bit in as well about the settings and using the VGA to SCART. So big thank you again to Marlin and a big thank you to Bucko for pointing me in the right direction and making the OSSC and selling it and blah, 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 because it was I did buy it directly from him. What else can I say? Well, go down to the description, check out the Patreon, check out the Discord, come chat about the ST, tell me where I'm going wrong, tell me where I'm going right. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that thumb me bit, which you're supposed to do. I hope that was of some great information towards you, but as always, happy gaming.